Tini's got a crazy good, you know. Tell me why. In your mouth. Yes, every single day. Yum, yum, yum. Hey! What's up, everyone? Adam from FWCI. Shits Creek, Season 3, Episode 9 of The Affair. Oh, God. Who's having an affair? Who's in, even in a relationship? Moira and Johnny, Jocelyn and uh, Roland. If you want early access to my Shits Creek reactions, patreon.com slash FWCI is where you can get it, but you know that. And we're only about four episodes away from the end of this season. So this has been a really, really good season. We've just been introduced to Patrick in the last episode. I know people have been anxiously awaiting the arrival of this character. So we'll see what that means for the show, but let's jump into it. Episode nine from season three, The Affair. You're the only one using this sign-out sheet. Well, that's not true. Stevie's got her name on the sheet. Wait a minute, why is Stevie's yeah, name well, on it? <laughs> she has her own car. <laughs> I thought Roland offered to drive you. Oh, he did, but no thanks. I can't take four hours in a truck with Roland and Leonard Skinner. <laughs> <laughs> Parents are supposed to put their children before themselves. Oh, really? No, if airplane safety videos have taught me anything, David, it's that a mother puts her own mask on first. <laughs> That guy over there, the well-dressed one? That's Gavin McRae, mayor of Thornbrook. Mm. You mean the one serving drinks to the other people? <laughs> you don't have to worry about me, Roland. If there's anyone at this fabulous little confab who knows how to work a room of fragile egos, it's me. I once hosted the non-televised portion of the People's Choice Awards. Ooh. <laughs> non-televised portion oh, that's gonna suck asked you to get the box of hand cream that's like 53 pounds why are you here you know what i think would be really cute is if i had my own little label like under your label yeah and i could sell festival oh, wear and i could sell like wow you guys are really starting at the top aren't you you should probably figure out the actual operation first before you start thinking about labels and brands I am Alexis, and I'm currently studying business, and I'm David's I think you might be barking up the wrong tree, Alexis. So, really soft. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I can see why people like Patrick. He is the, like, surrogate for the audience in a big way. You know, this is her first ramp. <laughs> but I think under my wing, she's, she's learning to fly. So wait, Moira did something very impressive in this thing? Is that what's going on here? The woman of the hour! Oh my god, now they're crowding me with titles. Join us for drinks in the Diamond Club. In the Diamond Club. Ooh, all right, Moira. It's a sparkling white Russian. The trick is to get it down before it curdles. Look, I never get this kind of... Respect. This means a lot to you, doesn't it? Yeah, same to you. Well, good work, Moira. Moira, Moira, Moira. Oh my god, now they're chanting her name? <laughs> There's a Himalayan breeder up the street that knits them for us. Hi. Hi. Is that for real? Is he gonna get like really, really like kind of kooky and um, successful with this? It's not the sweetest thing that he framed it. Um, it is very sweet. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, actually, they, uh, they all come framed. Okay, thank God. You don't want to spend too much money up front. Yeah, that is not good, David. You have to be prepared to survive a full year without making any profit. Actually, the textbooks now say 18 months. <laughs> Curating a selection of products from local vendors and selling them on consignment in a one-stop shop retail environment that benefits both the vendor and the customer. Staying corrected. Okay, all right. So David knows what he's doing. All right, so Alexis is... I think she's got it for Patrick. But I think David does. Oh, is she just like... Oh, no, she just knows that David's into him. I can hardly hear you, John! Cheering in the... Ooh, that's one of those white Russians. Better drink it before it curdles. Do you know I'm actually good at this? Who are you talking to? It's my husband! <laughs> Was that for me? Why am I, why am I getting booed? <laughs> Salt guy. Yeah, okay, Roland. Uh, get... Oh, this is. I used to get phone calls like this from my friends all the time. It's like two o'clock in the morning, I'm in bed asleep, and they're just ringing absolutely plastered. Hmm. <laughs> Johnny's like, 
I wonder how this is going to explode in a fiery wreck tomorrow. <laughs> John, please. <laughs> Whoa. That's not good. At least she's clothed. Roland! What are you doing in my room? What are you talking about? This is my room. What the, the fuck are you doing in your room? <laughs> Pounding on the door, telling me to whip you up a salmon plate. Oh no! Like that on the bed. Oh my god! <sighs> Drunk Moira is amazing. I want to see more of that. Jocelyn, why do you look hungover as well? Oh, was she there too? You are handling this way better than I am. Oh, does she? Th oh, this is the affair. Oh god! When you say they slept together, they did sleep together. In a literal sense. Yeah, there you go. And he says that nothing happened, so I'm just trying to, you know, process all of this. Jocelyn, come on, you're way out of his league already. You got nothing to worry about. You probably shouldn't read anything into the fact that for some reason Moira decided to hide this from you. <laughs> Jocelyn is losing it, man. <laughs> but I know what it's like to be in bed with a naked rolling shit. And I am powerless against that. <laughs> What a sentence. Do you want to order something to put chocolate sauce on? <laughs> Is that chocolate sauce on like waffles and bacon? It doesn't sound like something I wouldn't maybe try one day. Just an FYI, Patrick won't be there. So there won't be anybody for you to flirtatiously boss around. Okay. I hate to break this to you, David, but there will always be somebody for me to flirtatiously boss around. <laughs> so what's going on there? <laughs> I still can't figure out. Oh, so Alexis does think there's something between them. Maybe that means that his eye is on somebody else. Nah, she is setting David up. <laughs> well, it's either that or he's really into the store, which no offense seems a lot less likely to me. <laughs> oh my God, Alexis. Oh, how's Jocelyn? Oh, she was a little upset. <laughs> she was a little upset. I don't think I've ever seen her quite like that. It's inconsequential, John. Just let it go. I have. May I ask what you're doing? Um, I've decided to cut down on my drinking. <laughs> That's not a good sign. I didn't tell you anything because I was embarrassed. I was riding high, John, apparently really high, after winning what some people call the landmark... You still gotta be honest about that, Moira. Just saying you're embarrassed is not enough. I owe an apology to you. To Good. sober people everywhere. Go ahead and apologize then. Moira, that's my beer. You don't even drink beer. <laughs> it's symbolic, John. <laughs> symbolic. Oh, Moira. My sister isn't isn't here. So. I'm not here for your sister. Mm. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I think you're gonna need some more startup money. Oh, more startup money. Mm. Um. Is he going to invest? There are grants that you can apply for, and I would be happy to assist you with those applications. Hey, here we go. See, if the grants came through, you'd have the money to start paying me. Okay, um, Pay I really think you have something here. To Pay him as like a business manager kind of thing? I, um, I actually picked out that frame. Oh! <laughs> Whoops. So thank you for making it very clear that I will be making the creative decisions for the store. Um, and I guess you can handle all the business. <laughs> well handled, David. And you do know that if the grant money doesn't come through, then I won't receive Oh, I'm going to get the money. Whoa. All right. Okay. I like this guy. I like him. He's, he's super, like, competent in the world that he works in. And he's just like, yeah, man, we can do this. That reminds me of like me and my like office jobs that I work in. Like, it's just good to know your your product, you know. Because I think it's best that we talk man to man. Oh my God, Roland! Your house must reek like alcohol. He's always just spilling beer everywhere. Put your mind at ease, okay? I am ninety nine point nine nine. Nine percent sure that nothing happened between me and your wife. Fuck off, I'm 100% sure, and I wasn't even there. 
inspecting every inch of my body for bite marks, back scratches, lipstick prints, and I couldn't find any. Roland, you're going to get punched in the head in a second, man. <laughs> Because Moira's coming out soon, and I really don't want, want to her. tempt fate twice. I got it. No, no. Uh, Roland, you're being shit right now, man. No pun intended. What were the amenities like in that hotel room? High pressured water, down pillows. I'll never know. Yeah, she was passed out pretty hard. You slept with Roland? <laughs> Technically, yes, but not exactly. In his bed. Mom slept with Roland? Yes, apparently. I will not <laughs> You're gonna have to like spend weekends over at Roland's now or <laughs> Do we call him Uncle Roland? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> it's very difficult to work with someone who you're attracted to. Yeah, like you and Ted. No, we're making fun of mom and dad right now. <laughs> or like you and Patrick. How about that, David? In fact, other than Johnny, you're all in the same boat. You will always be our first dad. <laughs> That episode had a really strong finish, and uh, it was a good storyline. Like, Moira just getting blackout drunk. Like, I want to know what, what's going to be the ramifications of her becoming, like, so popular at that conference. I feel like that's not the last we're going to see of that little situation. I like Patrick. Patrick is a great character. He is definitely, like I say, the, the surrogate for the audience. People watching it um, are probably looking at the show through eyes similar to Patrick in terms of how he interacts with David and Alexis and everything like that. And I've worked for a lot of like, you know, big companies in private sector and government departments and stuff like that. And you know, I know what it's like to be somebody that your job is to help them get the most out of whatever it is that they're trying to, you know, get get involved in. So I'm, I'm already digging that Patrick is using his ability to help David in every single possible way. That just hits kind of home with me, you know? So that character is awesome in my opinion and we've only seen him twice. I love in this show when David and Alexis um, like make fun of Johnny, like when they're teasing him and like kind of stirring him up and Johnny never really kind of seems to understand. They always kind of like get him like the, um, the call out sheet on the for the car keys at the start and then at the very end with the whole thing about should we call him uncle um uncle roland from now on? <laughs> no stevie in this one no ted in this one but a fantastic episode let me know in the comments what you thought about this don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and as always everyone be well stay safe look after your friends see you in the next video peace